My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent, teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube station. It's the home of the five minute or less video. I worked at IRS for a decade. I've been in private practice for 40 years. I am an expert in IRS resolution matters and actually tax debt settlements. Um, I've been on TV a lot. Many of you have come to me through my uh, news channel. Uh, I mean, my many broadcasts. I have over uh, 7,000 subscribers and 300,000 watch hours. So what I have to tell you is important. I tell you in five minutes. I do this for uh, three reasons. So you don't get ripped off. Um, and today is one of those areas you can get ripped off in. I tell you the truth in love and honesty. And uh, lastly, um, I uh, educate you and inform you. I have a whole team of former IRS agents. You can see me in a suit and tie and all my TV interviews at 777irs.com. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, tech, uh, tax settlement, tax debt settlement, and everything that you need to know, and exactly how to settle tax debt. The only way you can settle tax debt is through an offer and compromise. That's right. It's called an offer and compromise. I used to teach the offer and compromise program at Internal Revenue Service. So you, if you have to see, if you want to settle your debt, the only way and the only place you look is for the offer and compromise program. Um, you're going to get a lot of ads, and you're going to a lot. Of, you're going to make a lot of knee-jerk reactions, and you're going to look for everyone and anyone who thinks that they can settle your tax debt. Ninety-eight percent of all that information you're getting is a lie. Uh, you need to look up and find out if you're eligible for an offer and compromise. And the first place I tell people to go is the IRS pre-qualifier tool. It's free. You can go to irs.gov, look up their pre-qualifier tool for offer and compromise. That's a good place to start. Now, remember, I work this program at IRS, so I'm a national expert in this matter. So um, the offer and compromise program is pretty much comprised of two things. The two things they're comprised of is what are your assets and what is your income and expenses. Those are the two areas IRS is going to be drilling down on big time. If you have the money to pay the tax, but it's tied up in liquidity, I mean, it's tied up in, say, a pension or a, a home equity, and you have the money to pay the tax, but you don't, uh, you're thinking your equity safe. It isn't. IRS is going to want the sum total of whatever your true liquidity is, or they're not going to accept the offer. For instance, you have you owe a hundred thousand. You have a hundred and fifty thousand dollars equity in your home. IRS is not going to accept the offer and compromise. The other thing you've got to be very very aware of is this: that IRS has what's called the National Standards Program. They're not going to allow the expenses you think they're going to allow. IRS is going to limit your car your car payments, your car expenses, your food and clothing, and IRS is going to tell you how much that you can live on, and that's called the IRS National Standards Program. If you want to know how they apply to you, just Google IRS uh, National Standards for food and clothing, IRS national standards for housing and utilities, IRS uh, national standards for car payments, IRS national standards for car operation, and they, they will dictate to you how much you can spend. And there's a formula within that. You can look up IRS offer formulas. We do this every single day. So if you're wanting to settle your tax debt, you must do it really through that program. I have worked... Between Peter and myself, we've worked thousands of these offer cases. Not everyone is qualified for the program. The only three people who you can talk to and uh, who can talk on your behalf to IRS are attorneys, CPAs, and enrolled agents. So don't let some salesman talk you into, well, we can do this, we can do that. They don't know, Jack. They're reading from scripts just to go ahead and let you know. Uh, I can give you a free consultation if you want or just, you know, give it a shot yourself. How do you know when you should represent yourself? If it's a small case and you don't have anything, don't worry. Send the offer and downside to that. You extend the statute a year plus the time it's an offer status. Um, if it's a complicated case, you have some assets, you have a business, don't do it yourself. The chances of you getting it through are slim to none. I know because I used to deny them when I was a former agent. Anyway, I gave you everything I can. Give me a subscription if you would. Like I said, um, I look at 433As for people and let them know whether they're eligible or not. Happy to do that for you. Have my contact information below. Thank you for the subscription, and I kept it to five minutes. Blessings.